All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the song is uh, Columbine. Columbine. All right, uh, by the artist or group potentially S K Y N D. Uh, maybe Skinnered, Skinned, maybe. Uh, featuring uh, Bill Saber. If you are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Um, let's go ahead and jump into this immediately. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is about the the mass shooters um, from uh, from Columbine High School. Yes. All right. Let's let's do it. Tally ho. Yeah, the video is filmed very well. Listen, if I was in some, if I was in a school, bro, and I saw somebody dressed like this person right here, I'd leave. Like, hold on, hold on. This right here? If I seen this here, I wouldn't be in that school anymore, bro. I'm just gonna point that out, all right? Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. Not right here. Let's get it. I have no idea what they're saying, bro. Um, let's see. Uh, there are no lyrics attached to this video. I think you're saying how many victims, how many victims. and bullets is just a game that we play They, they did have a shotgun and a Tech-9 when they uh, went and um, terrorized this school. Um, dude, this incident, so basically, since I'm not going to get, I'm guessing, much from the actual lyrics here from this song, I guess it's mostly just the screenplay aspect of, of this video, potentially. 
that's, that's doing more explanation um, explaining than the song is itself. Uh, lyrically, at least, right? Um, dude, um, when this happened, right, it shook America, right? This was not the first, you know, this won't be the last, because I think we probably had a probably a million and a half since since this time, right? Um, without trying to get too overly political here, right? This will never change in America, right? Unfortunately, um, it's just not in our lifetimes. If you're watching this video right now, it's not going to change in your lifetime, right? Um, it's just because, like, dudes, we... Uh, like I am fully for owning and having the right to, to carry any form of, you know, anything in terms of the second amendment. Right. But bro, this without a doubt won't change until it just won't change. And it's crazy because half of most, half of America will say, Oh, this isn't about the guns. It's about the, the mentality around it, bro. listen, I've lived in Spain for hold on, hold on, five years. They don't have guns. Guess what I guess what I've noticed? You know something really funny, interesting? I haven't heard of a mass shooting in Spain. Not since I've been here. I, I definitely can't say the same for for my country, right? So like dudes, we don't want shit to change in terms of our, our rights, but bro, if you want this to stop. No, 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 I'm sorry, sir, because like I said, some portion of, of America thinks that all of this is a lie. Literally, they'll be like, no, this is all just done to 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 crack down on the, the rights of the Second Amendment. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh man, dude. This topic, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. Bros, can you imagine, like, dudes, can you literally imagine your child going through this or, or like, if you're in, like, or, or like your, your brother or sister in, in, in high school going through this and then trying to argue with the people who said shit didn't happen, but it was a hoax. It was a false flag operation. There's some weird shit, bro. <clears throat> But see, it's interesting though because you know maybe I'm a cynic, but I think in um, I don't think they call these people terrorists. They are completely terrorists. But um, but I think in you know in this in this modern time that we're in in America, right? Uh, they would have probably been taken, captured alive, and and given McDonald's or something after this shit. I don't know, dude. That's just how shit has been lately in terms of you know certain certain types of terrorists, at least. Um, Bro, we just need to, we have a lot to fix, bro. <laughs> we have a lot to fix, you know, a lot to fix. But, um, let's get it.
Well, that happened. Yeah. Um, in terms of this artist itself, um, I think the artist is uh, okay at delivering a message um, through video, right? Um, but I'm guessing um, you know, the video was directed by someone named Tally Ho. I don't know if they're part of this uh, artist's like, um, team, potentially. Um, but the song itself, if I would have heard the song itself without seeing the visuals, um, I would not have known this was about this. I just would not have. Because first of all, firstly, the mixing, um, some of the mixing itself was super low, right? Um, or like it was just mixed into the actual background music to the point where like audibly it was almost done. You know, you just couldn't follow along with the lyrics itself. Um the most memorable thing I heard basically was the the rata ta ta part because I think it was mixed to the loudest and it was meant for you to hear it the most. Um, it seems like that was the main focus of the actual song itself, the the um, the gunfire sound that they were making with their mouth basically. Um, other than that, dude, this is a horrible, horrible story. All right, of. Of terrorism in America, bro. Like um, homegrown American terrorism. That's what this is. Um, purely. Dudes, um, if you'd like to let me, if you want me to hear any more of um, this type of content, just let me know in the comments. I'll uh, I'll check it out. Um, this, this shit makes me feel weird, bro. <laughs> Literally. All right, dudes. Um, you guys uh, attempt to have an amazing day, okay? Enjoy it.